are going to do Route 66 in Illinois. We're going to go from Chicago, actually all the way down to St. Louis. We're going to hit all the roadside attractions like this one. So let's go. Our family is going to take you through 17 must-see attractions in Route 66. Our plan is to get into the car, drive from where we live, come here to Chicago right during daylight, and then start taking our Route 66 trip. I figured I'd give you guys a quick little tour here. And this is the creme de la creme. We're gonna look at the bean. Actually, the real name is Cloud Gate, but everyone calls it the bean. Look how shiny that is. It would stink so much to try to clean this bad boy up. Everyone here is taking their photos. But one of my favorite parts is going right in the inside. Look how neat this looks. Now it's time to go back with the family and let's see what Route 66 has. All right, we are at the start of Route 66. Oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna take forever to get to St. Louis, but let's go. There's the sign. Official start your destination. of Historic Route 66. Here in Route 66, they have the fabulous McCook, Illinois. I think they stole this from uh, Vegas. So we are going to be seeing a car from the Blues Brothers movie uh, that was filmed in Chicago. On a stick. On a, it's on a stick. We are at Wilmington, Illinois, and this is one of our favorite places, the launch pad, because you have here the great Gemini Giant. So they just refer to some that green is nice and bright. And look at that helmet. This is easily by my favorite of all of the uh, Muffler Man. It's a rainy day today, so uh, this is gonna be a very quick stop. Well, uh, the plan is to see all three giants. So with the Route 66, my dad used to take us all the way from Chicago all the way to Santa Monica. Uh, we're not ready for that, so this is our like test run. Here we are at the Polka Dot Drive-In in Braidwood, Illinois. I want you guys to meet a few of my friends here. Right over here, that's my boy Elvis. And the ever gorgeous Marilyn Monroe. And the king of suave. Look at this. James Dean and my childhood growing up, Betty Boop. So while you're waiting for your food, look at the view that you can have. Look at this, that's Superman. Superman is probably one of my favorite superheroes of all time. Him and the Flash. We are at Gardner, Illinois, and I found a two jailed cell. I don't know what it is, but let's check it out. This two jail cell was built in 1906. What's crazy is this jail did not house like vigilantes or criminals. So in 1930s, hobos would catch the train, get off and look for jobs. But it looks like I guess the town didn't want any hobos just running around. So what they would do is at night, they would put them in here and lock them up and then let them back out during the day. So man. What a life to live during that time. So we're at Old Family Restaurant and Rosalie's hungry. So when Rosalie's hungry, it's time to stop. So why not go to a place that's called, looks like it's family friendly. It has family in the name. All right, guys, look what I have now. Look at that. I got my own Route 66 at. They sell it over here. I've been meaning to get one. Uh, but now with the express, expressway being built, it bypasses all these towns and all these restaurants. There are niche people like myself who likes to take these old routes. But, you know, they lost so many businesses and I know a lot of towns really suffered for here. On Route 66 to Atlanta and it's not Atlanta, Georgia. or Atlanta, Illinois. All right, guys, we were about to go, and we're here at the Bunyan's Muffler Man, and I found some other Route 66. They're coming from Chicago, but they're a little bit braver than us. They're actually gonna go all the way down to the LA section. I'm Katie, I'm 
Anna. You know, really just thought it would be cool to see Route 66 all the way through. Well, we're gonna do a lot of the national parks. So we're gonna do like Petrified Forest and Grand Canyon. So pretty excited about those. Yeah, and um, I think uh, seeing the donkeys in Oatman, Arizona. Yeah. Wow. So as we're taking this route, I'm learning something new. I thought Route 66 is just one road that came through. So it looks like in different years, it veers off a little. So when you're taking the route, even though you're taking Route 66, if there's two of you, you can take different roads and it kind of converges together. So one of the cool things about going through Route 66 is there's all these like old school towns and even these like old school gas stations. This is Frank's old gas station from uh, the 40s and 30s. Original gas station where the pumps are uh, burned down. So we rebuilt it just the way it was. And then this section here was added as a um, actually a car dealership wow back in the 40s well we've collected signs tried to make it look authentic we are at cozy dog drive-in they claim that this was the first place that invented the corn dog so place or another hey. this is when two <laughs> roadside attraction junkies and their channels meet yeah. all right let's see what this puppy tastes like That might be the best corn dog I've had yet. Wow, that's pretty. I haven't had that many corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and now we are at the third muffler man the third giant on route 66 in illinois when we have here the lauderback giant how awesome if i got my wife to convince me to get one of these for the backyard that'd be perfect could you imagine it's like awesome. holding like a santa's chronicles flag in the backyard <laughs> I've been seeing too many giants, now I want one for my yard too. <laughs> <laughs> there are only four remaining drive-ins on Route 66, and the Litchfield Skyview drive-in is the last one in Illinois. Pretty spacious, that's a nice green. I really feel like I'm back in my childhood, seriously. Like, I used to go to the drive-in, Put the family, get a bunch of popcorn. Oh, the good old days. In order to catch as much as we could, we did break up this trip into two days. So to get to St. Louis, we were so excited. We are in St. Louis. We made it over here for our Route 66 trip. Oh, that was quite the drive. We are at the St. Louis Arch. And look, the surprises keep on coming. We got Tom Varner with us. A few years ago, they actually redid the arch grounds, and so they actually couldn't walk the way you know you probably walked across. And then oh, really? They, they put in these pools on the side, and they, you know, did every. There was this massive renovation that was done. And to our surprise, we were recognized while we were in St. Louis. They actually know us. I'm like, <laughs> she's like, hey, are you that family that vlogs? We're like, yeah, but probably not that one. <laughs> yeah, we saw you guys on the um, the safari zoo, yeah. or the Lake Geneva one. So yeah, we were like, uh, yeah, I was like, wait, they look so familiar. And we went to the zoo actually because of your vlog. Now it's time for frozen custard. Ted Drew's frozen custard was the number one recommended thing from all our friends and viewers. We stood in line for this famous custard and our friends, Small Stuff Big Family joined us. This is Lexi. So she's one of five of our kiddos. We just have her with us today because we're a big blended family. And this is my husband, Mark. Hello. And my name's Laura, and we're a small stuff, big family. There you go, that bad boy. Thank you. Right. Now, this is the way to end a long road trip. This banana split had no chance. Below are some more Route 66 videos you might enjoy.